Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are some marriage and trouble romances. <laughs> I know this trope is a fan favorite for people. It's a fan favorite for me as well. So that's why it's taken me so long to compile this list. This is my first Marriage in Trouble video um, because I only picked my favorites. <laughs> sometimes I love this trope and sometimes I hate it. And so these ones are actually really, really, really good. So I can't wait to talk about them. First one that I have is one of my favorites of all time. This is Ever After Always by Chloe Lisa. This is the old version, by the way. This is a Marriage in Trouble romance between Aiden and Freya. I think I want to say about a year or two ago, these two finally decided I think we're ready to have kids, um, like hopefully in the near future. And so Aiden kind of like buckled down and started working more, putting a priority on making money to make their family like financially stable before they have children. But in the process of doing that, he neglects Freya and their relationship to a point where she feels like she did not marry the same man. Like she's not married to the same man she married those years ago um because all he does is work he doesn't pay attention to her he doesn't help around the house like he does nothing but work and she is like done there comes a point in the book where she's like i need you to get out of this house i need a low tim right now and i need to collect myself because i don't know if this is working and aiden is absolutely distraught because he is so in love with freya and his anxiety has just put his focus on something else. And so he is definitely trying to fix that and they're working on their marriage together. So I love this one. It takes place kind of like also on a vacation setting because their family in the midst of all their like problems decide like, let's go on vacation together, like the extended family. And so they kind of have to like keep their problems on the wayside because they don't want to stress their family out. Ooh, next I have two books in the Bromance Book Club series by Lissa K. Adams. I've only read these two in this series and I think they're the only two with the marriage and trouble trope. This is the first book in the series and I believe this one is like the fourth or fifth one. Um, so this one, our um, hero finds out that his wife, who he has like daughters with, like children with, has been faking O's their whole entire relationship. And he's like distraught. And his they realize like their relationship is not what he thought it was. And his wife isn't really happy. And he kind of gets roped into this romance book club where men read romance books in this book club to learn how to woo their wives or women better. So yeah, it's actually really fun. I really enjoyed this one. He's also a baseball player. And then this book, Isn't It Romantic, is about one of the guys who was in that club um, known as the Russian. His name is Vlad. He's a hockey player and he's actually in a marriage of convenience with Elena. They're both from Russia and in order for her to go to school in America, like he agreed to marry her because he's in America because he is on a sports team here. So they've been married for a few years, but they haven't seen each other in a while. And the beginning of this book, Vlad kind of decides like, I think I'm going to contact Elena and tell her that I think I want like a real marriage. I want to figure this out. But before he can say that, she finds him to tell him that she would like a divorce, please. Because she's adamant that like this relationship isn't really real. So why be together? Um, but they might not know that the other one is very, very into each other and they have like unrequited feelings. Next I have a duet. This is the second book in the duet. The first book is What He Doesn't Know. This is like an angsty romance. So if you want more of an angsty love triangle romance, I have no idea who she chooses at the end, like type of romance. This is what you need. So like I said before, this is a duet and she is married. The heroine is married and her marriage is kind of like on the rock since um, I believe she had a miscarriage and things just haven't really been the same since and her husband hasn't really been as attentive as he was or um, their relationship just isn't the same. It feels kind of strained and enters in a new teacher at the school that she works at. And it just happened to be like her first, first boyfriend, first everything back in high school. And things kind of happen between them. Um, but then she's also still in love with her husband. And so this duet definitely is about all three of these people and what she's gonna do and who she's gonna pick. So Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey, I feel like is a staple in this trope. Rosie feels very neglected in her marriage with Dominic and she starts out this book telling him that she would like a divorce and Dominic is shocked. He's absolutely flabbergasted. He's like, what? He could not see that a million miles away. And Rosie's like, how could you not? Like we literally, like we only do it on like Tuesdays, like on a schedule. Like, how is that like good? And you barely talk to me. You 
barely converse with me you we barely do anything together i feel very neglected and he had no idea and they decided to actually go to couples counseling together and working through that and realizing they have like different love languages so i did love the discussion of love languages in here but this is a great romance i really enjoyed this one to spice it up a little i have two alien romances so marriage is not really like the term kind of like think like mates mates in trouble romances um so these are two ruby dixon books uh two alien romances um these are part of the ice planet barbarian series barbarian's heart is this first one I will mention here. This starts out with our hero getting amnesia. He gets hit on the head by a boulder and he does not remember Stacy, our heroine. And so it is marriage in trouble because like he has no idea who this woman is and who their baby is and the heroine feels so lost and like this is not the person that I'm that I married, mated to. That's all I want to leave you with that one because there's a lot going on in this one but I love it so much. And then we also have Barbarian's Hope which is the I believe only book not only book, sorry, one of the only books in this series between two aliens on the planet instead of like a human and an alien. So Asha is our heroine and you got to read about her in all the previous books in the series, how she is not in a good relationship with her mate. Like they are separated, they are not together because she lost her baby a few years ago and their relationship just hasn't been the same since they like hate each other. Um, so this is actually them coming back together after everything. Um, so yeah i don't want to spoil anything i love it so much this one's really good i feel like this one is really under hype some people hate it some people love it i'm one of the people that loves it the last three that i have to mention are historicals okay so the first one is the devil's submission by nicola davidson this one is more of a novella length i love the audiobook it's really good this series is about like three guys who run this pleasure club together and our hero for this one his name is grayson and he was actually married a few years ago but after their like whirlwind wedding he basically whisked her off to the countryside and left her there and hasn't seen her since and he basically sees her again at this club and she is adamant on showing him she is not this proper miss wife like she can get down and dirty <laughs> um grayson kind of abandoned her because he has these fantasies that he wants out of a physical relationship and he feels like he would like ruin this amazing friendship that he has with this woman and like an amicable relationship if she were to find out what he desires in the bedroom but little does he know that she she loves to be a little more dominant so this is a female dom situation another historical is lady isabella's scandalous marriage by jennifer ashley when the heroine was 18 she had like this whirlwind elopement with the hero who is lord mac mckenzie but after three years of marriage she absolutely shocks the ton by leaving her husband which is very unheard of. It's a few years later and Mac is now reformed and is adamant to win Isabella back. So you're trying to figure out what happened between the two of them all those years ago to make her leave him while you read the book and then figure out how Mac is going to win her back. And lastly, I have Forever Her Duke by Scarlett Scott. This is a little novella that's on audio. I listened to it on Libby. I really enjoy this one. Um, this one is about our heroine who ends up marrying her brother's best friend, but they haven't seen each other basically since the wedding day. Little does she know that he actually, I think, promised her brother like she would never touch her, never marry her. Um, but I think they get in a compromised position and um, he is basically forced to marry her after her brother passes and he is absolutely like distraught he feels like he betrayed his friend and so he basically just runs away this book takes place years later where she's hosting a house party and who is to show up but her husband who she was not expecting whatsoever and all the guests are like what is going on they're itching to know all the gossip the tea the scandal and he's trying to win her back <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some romances with the marriage and trouble trope. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a bride, a bride emoji of some kind in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.